Details are emerging about a plane crash last month that took the lives of famed Alaska bush pilot Jim Tweedo and outdoor guide Shane Reynolds. The National Transportation Safety Board says the crash happened at about 11.35 in the morning on June 16th near Shaktulik. Joe Kadat met with the NTSB about what the initial investigation is revealing. He joins us now with more about what happened. Joe. Details from the preliminary report released today show that the aircraft Tweedo was flying had clipped a tree upon takeoff, which damaged a stabilizer and caused loss of control of the plane. The report shows that the airplane involved in the crash was operated by Golden Eagle Outfitters involving a remote bear hunting excursion. The pilot, Jim Tweedo, had returned to the, a remote off-airport Ridgeline airstrip after having already flown two hunters to another destination. Tweedo and Reynolds were on that flight that took both of the men's lives. The NTSB preliminary investigation details a witness and others in the area who had said that winds were unusual that day. There's a lot of stones that have not been turned yet. Uh, medical issues, the, the airframe uh, control issues, engine issues. We still got a long way to go on this one. Clint Johnson, chief of NTSB's Alaska Regional Office, says a full investigation on a crash like this can take as long as a year. He says he doesn't see why this crash would take longer than that. Jim Tweedo was known as a person who taught countless pilots how to fly and influenced many in his career. He's also known for being a star of the Discovery Channel reality show, Flying Wild Alaska.